F100 Nation, Episode 4, Luke from DentSides.com. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the podcast. Got a pretty exciting episode for you guys today. Uh, we're joined by Luke from DentSides.com. He's going to chat with us a little bit uh, about his project, some of what he's got going on with social media, and uh, just some plans for the future. But before we hop into this episode here, I wanted to take a moment and thank everybody for the five stars that uh, you guys have been leaving on iTunes. Uh, I wanted to read a couple of these uh, reviews. Uh, first one's from Justin Davis. It says, awesome. This is absolutely an amazing podcast you've started. I felt like I was there talking to y'all in person, and it really gets detailed, and I love it. Look forward to listening to so many more, man. Keep it up. Man, I just want to say thank you, Justin. I appreciate that. Uh, looking forward to doing a lot more of these. Uh, the second one comes from Paul Hissaw. Um, exactly what I've been searching for. I've lost track of how many times I've typed in Ford trucks, Ford Broncos, Ford Dent side, Ford F-150 looking for this exact thing. I found Devin's page on Instagram a few months back, and I've enjoyed following his Yeti build. I have a 79 Bronco that has been in the family for 30 years. This just inspires me to work on it even more. If you are on Instagram, you can see my old truck. If you follow hashtag his saw Bronco revival. Thank you, Devin, for putting this together. Paul Hissaw at Hacksaw Z All. So if you want to check him out on Instagram, uh, head over to at Hacksaw Z All. And thank you so much for the review. Appreciate the support. Look forward to seeing what you do with your Bronco. Um, Yeah. So let's hop into the podcast here. Thank you, guys. All right, everybody. Fortunate enough to be uh, joined here by Luke from DentSides.com. Super excited to have you on and. Looking forward to hearing a little bit about, you know, your history and what you got going on, and and of course, the uh, dentsizes dot com itself. So, welcome to the show. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Stoked. For sure. So, you know, I want to get things kind of kicked off. Uh, I want to know a little bit about what, you know, pushed you into loving old Ford trucks in general. <laughs> That's the same as pretty much. So I listened to the first two episodes you put out, and uh, they both are the same, and I'm the same too. It's just my dad had one, so um, basically just grew up on like a on a farm out in Western Massachusetts, and um, my dad had this old '78 F250 flatbed, and that was the farm truck, you know. So um, <laughs> basically, I just grew up with that thing driving around. My dad was plowing with it. It was always a big brown rig. Huge plow in the front, uh, kind of a wild, haggard-ass flatbed, all wooden, you know. And then uh, so I just grew up, grew up around that and, you know, took it to the dump to bring the trash up. And, uh, you know, I just I have memories just riding that thing all the time. So that kind of put me onto it and, and, you know, that's kind of learned where I learned how to drive a stick. And, yeah, it's definitely just the dad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, spend a lot of time staring at those dashboards. I mean, you you, uh, you start to fall in love with them. There's no, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's the truck right now you're building, right? Yeah, exactly. We can you can talk about that in a little bit. That's the one, man. And that thing was, that thing's beat up, <laughs> or it was beat up. It's going to not be beat up anymore. That's that's awesome. I mean, I know out on the East Coast. Uh, the the winters and and the weather and what they put on the roads isn't too kind to those uh these old vehicles and chews them up pretty bad so it's it's awesome what you're doing with that that thing yeah yeah those the the, the winters up here are brutal the, the the ice and the salt and the in the snow just destroy trucks so or everything actually so you don't really see a whole lot of trucks that are on the road you know older than even like late nineties now. It's crazy. So I'm going to be stoked to have that thing back running on the road and, and, uh, keep that legacy going, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, 
you you kind of you inherited that that truck from your dad. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, with the whole that story, like how I got into that build is like, so I was, you know, I grew up with that truck on my farm, and you know, my dad just plowing with it, driving it, something you seen every day. And then I went so like through high school and stuff. I never was in, even into trucks at all. Like I was a kid, I was into trucks, and then I like got out of trucks completely and went into like tuner cars, had like an Acura Integra, and, like, <laughs> everything lowered and stuff like that. And um, it, I was my, you know, a lot of my being out in the country, a lot of my friends had trucks, and I was always kind of hating on them. And then I don't even know what happened, but towards like after college and, and later on in life, I just started like really getting back into them. And then I just, and I, that truck was still just sitting in the yard, you know, and used less because my dad stopped plowing with it. So we just kind of, it would get driven once a month, maybe to like pick up rocks and trees and stuff around the farm. But, uh, and I was like, and I just started getting back into trucks. And then I just, and then that was always the truck that, you know, the dense side style Fords. And so after that, I just made my mind up. All right, I'm going to build a dense side. So, I <laughs> chose that. Nice, nice. So, what kind of kind of leading into that? Like, what uh, what have you done with? I mean, where did it start in your build process as far as tear down, and then kind of walk me through what you got, uh, what you've been doing to it. Yeah, so it started. It's actually funny because so we had that truck there, and it was my inspiration for a build. So I went and looked. I actually didn't want to build it first because I remember. I was talking to my dad about it because I, you know, I wanted to build it with him, and um, we I, we went down there and, and we, I like laid under the truck and I was just and at that point it had been, you know, he bought it used in like eighty four or six or something right around right around I was born, and it had been a work truck it was a utility truck so it had already had like a hard life before he bought it he bought it it was straight farm truck flatbed like you know, plowing, just beat up. So I was like, I'm not going to build that thing. It's <laughs> it's a little too rough. But uh, <laughs> after after searching for quite a while, there's just not – every truck up here is that rough pretty much. Well, it, and in my budget when I was buying it, like I didn't have a lot of money to buy the project truck back a couple years ago. So, um, yeah, I didn't find anyone. So I finally came back and was just like, nah, I think it's just kind of the fate is to build this truck and, and you know – restore this one so we just i just said all right dad let's do this one and yeah basically uh that thing was beat so frame was rusted completely through literally the frame was rusted so bad in the rear the uh some i don't know one of my dad's friends or mechanics or something they knew like had took another piece of frame flipped it around and then just bolted it so it wouldn't snap in half (laughs) (laughs) it was fully jerry rigged like the whole way through so everything was rusted i mean you know the cab Obviously, cab floors are gone, cab cab corners, all that stuff, classic rust. But the whole frame was gone, so I had to get had to source like a new old frame. Um, obviously, there was no bed because it was a flat bed. So, I, but I wanted to run a real bed, so I had to get a bed. And um, so, got all that stuff, pulled the cab off. Right now, so then you know, and, and this is all on the blog too, so people can follow along with that to to almost where I'm at right now. But. Uh, yeah, pulled the cab off, and then it was essentially had to, like, completely rebuild the whole floor area. I mean, rocker panel, like, rockers, inner rockers, most of the floor, obviously, the floor pans, cab corners, and, uh, yeah, so rewalled it all that with, you know, new metal. Um, what else? And then, yeah, so then just kind of undercoated the bottom and, you know, uh, you finished off the inside with seam sealer, all that kind of stuff, undercoated the inside. And uh, we just pulled out – I pulled out a paint this summer, which I haven't posted any of the pictures yet, really, but uh, that's those are coming soon. So we're at uh, – it's back on the frame. And, yeah, frame is all 415 and um, four-inch lift. I don't know. I'm going to get lost here with all the stuff because it's, it's been a long time. <laughs> four-inch lift. It's got Dana 60 rear, Dana 44 front. Um, and those are all been poor 15 painted up, cleaned up, um, redid all brakes, obviously front disc, rear of the drums. Um, and then, so obviously new gas tanks, new fuel lines, new, pretty much everything is new. I mean, there was nothing that really, like nothing is old except for the axles and the cab 
and half the cab is <laughs> fresh metal. So <laughs> the cab shell, the cab shell is yeah, you know, exactly, right? exactly. And then obviously, like you know, interior, like some of the interior stuff, but like yeah, it's pretty much all. I mean, it, it's it was pretty, it was pretty gnarly. Like we, I wouldn't have started. I didn't want to start with something that gnarly, but the fact that it was my dad's and, and it's been on the farm for so long, I was just, I had to do it. So that's uh, that was the bottom line. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. It's definitely driven by sentimental value, value, and yeah, that's a big project. It's a big undertaking. Yeah, man. It's uh, you know, I guess the old saying is, it's like, it's like. <laughs> When it's sentimental, you better open your wallet or something along those lines. It's not, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not cheap to to go down that road because you know the donor is just so beat up. But it's all good. I mean, it's cool. It's I'm gonna be stoked when it's when it's done. And the whole time, I've been working my dad on it at his place. Um, you know, he's got a whole bunch of tools and stuff, so that's awesome. And we've just been knocking away, you know, a little bit at a time. And uh, that's that's kind of a big thing. I mean, it's his truck giving it to me, and we're building it together. So that's kind of like the dream, you know? That's really, really cool. And that'll be something that you have forever. Yeah, yeah, and that's kind of, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm guessing you and your kid are going to do that someday. So that's awesome. I hope so. <laughs> I hope I get that opportunity. Or he'll just have your brand new build ready to ride, so. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I'm going to use it a ton before I pass it on to him. <laughs> <laughs> so it may need to be rebuilt by that time. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Oh man, well, this is, this is obviously the love of dent sides kind of kind of drew you into more social media and building a website dedicated to dent sides, um, and your blog that that kind of talks about the build and t-shirts. I mean, tell me a little bit about what you got going on there. Yeah, man. I mean, when I just started the build, I just I wanted to kind of you know catalog everything and take as many photos as as possible. And, you know, I kind of kind of lurk around some of the forms and stuff, like the Ford truck forms, and and I just, I didn't really want to be too involved in those because, you, you know, it can take so long to do a build. I just wanted to kind of do it for myself and keep keep those pictures. And and then I just figured it'd be cool to I'm, I'm kind of do website stuff as, as a job, so I've just figured I'd just get a website up, and, and I've done, a, you know, some design and stuff as far as, like, T-shirts, so... I wanted to, you know, I just always loved, like, these are the best-looking trucks, in my opinion, ever made. So I wanted to do, you know, T-shirts and stuff because a lot of the Chevy dudes have, have like, T-shirts for their square bodies and stuff, and we never really had anything like that for, in the Zen side world. So I just figured I'd try to design that stuff. So threw up the website and, you know, kind of cataloged my blog and my build or whatever, and it's a little behind right now. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to get on it, but... uh yeah, it's it's uh it's cool. And and as far as the Instagram thing, I mean I just was like I there was some pages out there and that's cool and there is some pages right now that are rap and your page is one of them too, that's really good. But uh I just wanted a place to put, you know, kinda like put trucks that I thought were cool and that's pretty much all it is, is just me just putting posting stuff that I think is cool and as far as den sides go, I mean all den sides are, are pretty rad, so I just wanted to to catalog kind of all all the different kinds and from different places and just make sure the pictures were good and, you know, just uh, it's a certain level of quality that I can appreciate to just try to share that with people. And, you know, our community, the densides.com and Instagram is, you know, it's pretty big now and, you know, we get a lot of likes and a lot of people commenting and stuff and everyone's just like super into it. So it's rad to see Instagram kind of the Ford kind of community on Instagram growing pretty big. Yeah. It's kind of a cool, a cool thing. I mean, I've been following what you got going on there for a long time, and, and your dentsides.com Instagram has really brought together all of these hardcore guys that love, you know, 73, 79 trucks. I mean, anything with Broncos, uh, anything Dentside, that's the place to check it out. And you've done a really, really great job of, of curating, you know, photos. Like you said, I mean, high quality photos, good content. You're interactive with the people. I mean, you're always going through and you're commenting and, and liking other posts. I, I mean, you're doing a killer job there. And, you know, I appreciate it, and I know a lot of the guys in the Denside community appreciate what you got going on, and thank you for putting that together and, and giving us all a place to kind of congregate and check out what uh, what everybody else is doing. Yeah, it's right. I mean, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, everyone's, it, you know, I try to keep it real positive and keep it just like, it's just cool and lighthearted, you know, and just good and just post good stuff. And I think that that's, you know, it's definitely done well. And I, and I appreciate everyone that's on there checking it out and, 
definitely appreciate everyone like that that's went and bought a shirt or bought the stickers off the you know the the uh, website or whatever that's awesome and people send me photos of you know the dense size stickers on the back of the trucks and stuff and i'm just i'm <laughs> ready to get my truck built so i can put my own stickers on my on my truck but uh <laughs> yeah that community is pretty cool and it's kind of funny because i feel like all the dense side guys are there's like you know people are really into them like, if you're in a dense side you're in a dense side you know and like but everyone's kind of scattered like you're just kind of in their corners doing their thing and then it, and then you know in like the Chevy world, everyone like everyone's out there. Everyone, there's so much stuff that's based on Chevy, so it's kind of cool to have a little, our little area for Fords. For sure, for sure. Well, those stickers. I mean, I, I'm rocking those stickers on on my rig, on my toolbox, and on yeah. on my uh, my family's little camper whenever we we go out. You know, got all your registration back there. Well, I got the three dentside dot com stickers lined up um, of, of all the the years that uh, I have, so I'm super excited about those. So thanks for making those. Yeah, that's right. That's awesome, man. I'm actually just in my office, and I got a post. I got a picture of me. I forgot to have this, but it's a picture of me uh, as, like, a, I must be, like, four years old, sitting in the truck, like, with my hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> my head doesn't even reach the dash. But, uh, <laughs> so I'll, I'll post that at some point up when the truck is finished. That'll be cool. Yeah, man. Looking forward to checking it out. It's hilarious. Yeah. Oh man, I know. Uh, I know you got some other future builds that you've been kicking around. Uh, are you are you ready to divulge into that? Or yeah, know. man. I mean, <laughs> I'm just Ford guy through and through. So, and that's all for my dad as well. And he. So, I mean, I told you the other day when we were talking briefly, but uh, yeah, I got a '34 Ford um, that I'm gonna build after I'm done with my truck, and that's like. It's like full Bonnie Clyde um, rig, you know. All it's super rusty, but it's all unmolested as far as like no, never chopped anything. So it's four door, all sewer side, and like really rough. But I just wanna, I wanna keep that rough exterior, and then just kind of, you know, do it kind of traditional. Keep the Ford flathead in it, rebuild that, and uh, you know, just make it awesome, make it badass, kind of gangsterish, you know. That's my next. Uh, that's my next build, but I gotta stay focused on the truck too. So, you know. But I did pick that up. I mean, I was looking for for a thirty four, and they're not easy to come by, especially up here for anything less than quite a pretty penny. So this deal popped up. I said, all right, I'm just gonna go grab it and just put it in the shed and uh, <laughs> come back to it when I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> and then I actually. Um, I don't know. I mean, I have so many, like, I have, like, a list of Fords I want to build and, like, you know, going forward. I just, like, I like all kind of old cars and trucks and whatnot. So, I have, like, it's, 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 I'm sure it's as long as everyone else's list. It's 15 cars long, but, yeah, I want to do, I want to do a 37 Ford model. I don't know if it's the Model A, but 37 Ford because I have this cool old picture of my dad with uh, his brother as a kid. And his dad had a 37, and it's, like... It was pretty rough back then, but it was, you know, Tim and him and his, my dad and his brother in front of this, his dad's 37. So I've always wanted to build a 37 because of that. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Like a, yeah. a 37 car or a 37 truck? Car, car. And, I mean, and then, if, you know, a 39 is a Ford truck is, like, one of my favorites, too. because like oval, weird grill. Super rad. Dude, so. Yeah. I'd love to build a 40. That's on my list, like a 40 truck. Yep. yep. I mean, oh. There's oh. too many, though. Because I, cause I, back to den side stuff, it's like I love crew cabs. Like the den side crew cabs are so rad. And that's like <laughs> crew cab is one of my dream dream trucks for sure. So these are all these are all kind of unicorn builds down the road. So hopefully I can get to them at some point. <laughs> Lots of my, time. Yeah, time and money uh, accommodating. That, that, those are my those are my dreams for sure. So, um, and you know, like all these, like some of the new dudes doing, like you know, putting diesels or whatever in the in in the crew cab and just making them, you know, like new, but they just have that old look. It's like what I'm super into too. Like my, I didn't talk about my engine, but my engine uh, in my truck is <laughs> like I was telling you before the other day is 351M. But it's not the original engine to the truck, and it was already rebuilt again. So, <laughs> but it's like 
I think it was 40 over when we pulled it out. It had already been bored to 40 over. We reboard it to 60 over, and then all new internals, everything brand new. Had to even get heads because they were cracked. So it was pretty haggard, like, on its last leg, but we brought that thing back. So that's – in the 250 that I'm building, that's, like, the – that's going to be the engine, the power plant. But – and that's on the blog, too. It's all prettied up, like, painted and chromed and all that stuff. So that'll be sweet. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, and that's sitting in the frame now too. So we're we're pretty far along. I'll, I, I'm, I've been slacking on the keep ups, but I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put some more put some more posts out there and keep posting on the Instagram with the, with the build. It just means that you've been busy having fun with it, working. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was, telling, <laughs> I was telling you, it's like I don't when I'm working on my truck, I'm not on any sort of Instagram or phone or anything. It's like I'm working, and that's like that's what I was, that's like my favorite time just to be working on the truck with my dad just just in the garage for you know six eight ten hours whatever and just hanging out and that's like that's like the best time and so if you don't see me posting or don't see me if i'm not texting you back or whatever i'm probably having a pretty good time in the truck <laughs> that's how it should be man that's awesome yeah yeah pretty good so yeah definitely definitely so hopefully i'm looking to get that thing finished up um this summer and then just just enjoy it just drive it you know nice have you made plan for uh wheels and tires yeah uh not a hundred percent but i i just i'm i'm in love with like this the old the kind of stock dealies dealies so and like the hubcaps from that era so i want to do i'm pretty much just want to do take the rims that are stock on there now and like powder coat them or something just get them back to like that clean kind of cream white ish that kind of came stock and then find some hubcaps run those and then run um because you really can't buy like 16 they're 16 and a half inch rims so you can't really buy a 16 and a half inch tire you can but they're mad expensive so i think i'm just going to try to do like the humvee style 37s and I've seen those on a couple bills, and I think they look super good. So I'm going to run. Just keep it old-school, classic style. It's kind of like what I like. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, they're not split rims, right? I mean, I, I have a couple of these old trucks with split rims on them. <laughs> no, no, they're just like steel. You like just steel. Actually, I saw some. I posted <laughs> one truck. I don't know. It must have been a couple weeks, maybe a couple months back. And... um the dude had, he ran steelies, but they were from, like, a camper special, so they were, like, deeper, hmm. uh, maybe, like, 10 inches deep or something. I'm not sure. I don't remember the specs, but he got four of those and ran those, and they looked super badass, so I don't know. That could be a cool idea, but I think to keep it, like, keep this build as, like, much original shit on it, like, I'm going to do, like, want to keep the wheels and then just, it's hilarious. The tires on there right now are, like, those kind of badass old school like knobby seventies style thin ones, you know? Yeah. And, they, and they've been on there since they've literally been on there since um day one, as far as I can remember. And they've never been put there's never been air put in them once. No. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh every time every time we move the truck around to <laughs> the shop, we gotta pull those wheels off. Me and my dad are like, What the hell? These, these tires are crazy. They 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 haven't gone down at all. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so it's kinda of tight. <laughs> You're gonna live forever. Yeah, it's wild. So those are, and I, I think I posted like I don't know, I posted like, like way back in the day. I posted like the original truck and people were like those tires are rad, but they, you know because they look cool. They're obviously like super dry at it, but they they haven't lost an ounce there, so it's kind of cool. That's awesome. It's nothing you want to drive down the highway, but around the farm is perfect. Yeah, exactly, exactly. No, I think we we stopped driving that truck on the highway. It'll be sweet because we stopped driving that truck on the road. I think probably early mid nineties, I guess. So it's been a long time just, like, as a farm-only truck. And it was it was beat up. She was a, she was a poor girl, but she's going to renew her life now as a as a showstopper. So. Yeah, man, that's, that's awesome. Not really a showstopper, but a driver. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I'm, I'm doing all the body work and paint, so. <laughs> well, she'll be beautiful either way, man. She's going to get back on the road and you'll get to enjoy her. Yeah, cool. absolutely, absolutely. And that's kind of the thing, like, back to the wheels, is, like, keeping those wheels similar. And then I kept the paint. You know, like, the paint is going to be essentially the same as it was, just, like, a little newer. Like, kind of a more contemporary color, but very similar brown, like, metallic single stage. So keeping it keeping it all 70s, kind of. That's awesome. Man, I'm looking forward to seeing that thing back on the road. 
Me too, man. Me too. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, man, I mean, I really, really appreciate you, you know, giving me your time and, and sharing your story with us here. And I definitely want to circle back around uh, as you kind of continue this build. And, and, you know, if you guys haven't had a chance to check it out, definitely head to densize.com. Uh, check out the blog, buy a t-shirt, buy some stickers, you know, support, support this guy, support what he's got going on with his build. Um, and, and of course head over on Instagram and, and give him a follow there too. So always posting cool stuff. I mean, I really appreciate you, um, coming on the podcast here. Yeah, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. It's, uh, it's awesome. I'm stoked on what you're doing here, bringing the four guys out. Uh, listen to all, obviously you're going to keep listening to all the episodes. So that's awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah. And thanks to everyone out there, um, who's checking out the Instagram and the, and the website and all that stuff. So I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely cool to link, link up, uh, when the build is done. Hopefully I'll have some, like I'll have a bunch more photos and videos and stuff like that once it gets finished up. So I'm stoked and I'll keep everyone updated. Awesome, man. We'll, we'll definitely circle back around. I want to, I want to, talk to you more about it as soon as you get that thing on the road and, and which, what it's like to, to be behind the wheel. So, Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am excited for that as well. So I will I will be sure to update some people. I'll probably do, do like a – I haven't done any of the like live things or whatever. I kind of keep it about the truck, not about my, my stuff, but uh, maybe do a live video of, the, of driving it down the road. That'll be cool. That's awesome, man. Well, thanks again for your time and uh, – and we'll we'll definitely be in touch. Yeah, absolutely, man. Talk to you soon. It was great having Luke on the podcast here to chat with us a little bit about his project and uh, what he's got going on with DentSides.com. Remember to check him out on Instagram, at DentSides.com, all spelled out. Uh, he's got a great page and created a great place for everybody to kind of congregate and check out. Uh, this next week, we're going to have Cade Olinger, uh, talking about his build Big Red. So be sure to tune back in and see you next time. Yeah.